again, Sochi day three, the sun came up and it's already 1 p.m. Staying up till five o'clock in the morning is taking a toll on my things to do uh, because I literally wake up way too late. However, it's fun and I'm digging it. Good thing is in Sochi, there's not too many attractions per se. It's a beach town, so therefore you party and go to the beach. There's a few hikes out there that I'm gonna try to hit, but I am not even sure of that. I've been trying to run every day, no success. So, what can I say? Anyways, I'm heading out to meet with Oscar and my other friends, and then we're gonna go, I don't know where, but let's just start it. about this restaurant is the floor is actually sand because we're riding from the beach so that's a really really cool touch yeah, we're gonna head out to the beach I think but I need to get me a bathing suit which I still don't have It's a little bit colder than I thought it was going to be. I am swimming for the first time in the Black Sea. It was called the Black Sea because of the tribes that were around when uh, you were trying to land were a bit rough. They were not friendly, they were pretty aggressive. In addition to that, it's also called the Black Sea because of the rough ocean around this coast. And it is indeed very, very rough. So, However, after a few years, they change it to the harmonious or like honorable sea. Uh, however, it stayed with like the black sea. Quick history lesson. Sochi is amazing, man. Like, we were talking about the perception that we had of Russia and how really different it is from what we think of, right? So, um, give it a chance. I'll, I'll talk a little bit more in another vlog, but uh, Russia is much, 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 much cooler than you guys ever thought. That actually, we ever been told. It's been a while, honestly, like I'm not used to this anymore, but like my Peruvian genetics wake up when I'm around everybody and I've been going to bed at like a six o'clock in the morning every day. <laughs> 